to my channel. Well, first of all, I would like to apologize to you all because I am very behind in getting my videos out um, right now. Um, fortunately, nobody has been sick or anything like that, but I have just been super busy. I've been preparing my uh, piano students for the upcoming spring recital. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of uh, videos of my students actually doing some performances that I think you might enjoy. And secondly, in the last few days, I have been doing a lot of yard work outside. So stick around to the end of this video because I am um, actually going to have some bonus footage um, just showing you a little bit about what I've been doing outside. And now, two weeks ago, I was trying to make a video on some cherry bars that I had done and my camera quit right in the middle of it and come to find out that my charger for my camera had been moved and I lost my battery and I had lost my charger so I had to spend half the day looking for the char charger needless to say that video didn't get put up because I only had about half of it but <laughs> anyway so to, for today's video I'm going to be taking some leftover ham from our Easter ham and I'm going to make some uh, ham and scallop potatoes uh, in a casserole. So stick around for that. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll have that for you in just a second. So I'll meet you over at my stove. Okay, in my saucepan I have about a half pot of uh, water that you can see is boiling. So to that... I'm going to add one onion that I have sliced thinly, and it's going in there. And then I'm going to add four medium potatoes that I have sliced to just about a quarter of an inch thickness. And you can see that. And we're just going to add these in there. and. We're going to boil these till for about seven to eight minutes, or just till they start to get tender. And while they're boiling, I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. And I have also um, sprayed my 2.75 quart baking dish with cooking spray, and I've got it setting aside. And that's we're going to we're going to put this when it's done. Okay, and so when this comes back up to a boil, we're going to reduce our heat and we're going to put our lid on it and like say we're going to cook them for about seven to eight minutes. So when we have that done, I'll be back with you and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, my potatoes have been cooking for just about eight minutes and you can see what they look like. They're just kind of fork tender, which is what we wanted. Now I have drained off all the water but maybe a quarter of a cup and so to that what I'm going to do is we're going to add one tablespoon of flour to this is a half of about a half a cup of um, evaporated milk and I'm going to stir the flour into that and get that mixed smooth. And let's see. Yeah, that's just about right. I just want to make sure that I didn't have quite didn't have too much water in that. Okay, so we're gonna pour this right into our potatoes. And let me grab a spatula. And we're just gonna let this start to get a little bit thick. We're gonna keep cooking this and turn my burner back on. I turned my burner off <laughs> and Things always cook better when you turn the burner on, don't they? <laughs> but anyway, um, we're going to cook this till just it starts to get thick. And now to that, when that starts to get thick, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of salt and one eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder and one eighth of a teaspoon garlic powder. Now you may not want to add, you may want to add more than that my husband and I aren't real big on a lot of additional things like that so I don't typically when a recipe calls for um, onion or garlic powder or something like that I usually add less than it says but you can certainly add more if you like whatever whatever works for your taste is what you you want to do okay and I am going to check on that 
So you want to be really careful because you don't want to bust up your potatoes. You want to, your potatoes to stay as whole as they will they will stay. And this is beginning to start to want to thicken. Yep, there it goes. And I can see you can see it's beginning to. I'm gonna turn the heat down because I don't want to scorch it. Okay, yeah, that's starting to thicken. Okay, so we're gonna let that get just a little bit thicker. I'm beginning to think, um, I was talking to y'all about, about those uh, cherry bars that my camera had quit. That is the second time I have tried to record a video on cherry bars. The first time I tried to record one, something happened and my camera shut off right in the middle of it. So I didn't get to do that video. So I thought, well, I was going to do that other one last week. And that one, the camera battery died and it quit so I'm beginning to think maybe it wasn't made for, it wasn't in and not in the cards for me to do that particular video but uh, I may try uh, try make a third attempt of that to that um, for that one for you and hopefully that will work next time okay let that go just a little bit more because I do want that to get thick plenty thick enough Looks like it's doing pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off of the heat. And I'm going to add my salt and my onion powder to that. And we're just going to gently stir that in. Again, I don't want to break up my potatoes, so I'm being very, very careful not to do that. Okay, and then we are going to stir in one half cup of grated cheddar cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and just stir that in. And take that off the heat to do that. I don't want that to I don't want that to curdle, which it could very well. Sometimes that happens. So these are really almost more of a, a gratin potato, but at any rate, it's good with the ham in it, so. Okay, so you can see what we've got. Okay, I'm going to take this off the heat, and we're going to go over to the island, and I'm going to finish this up for you and get it ready for, ready for the oven. All right, here is our casserole dish, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in just about half of the potato mixture and spread that around really good in our casserole dish. All right. And here is my Easter ham. This is just a oh about a cup and a half. You can add pretty much as much as you want. And I have cut, I've trimmed all the, you know, that hard rind that sometimes is on the outside. I trimmed all that off and I trimmed off any visible fat so that we just have these nice chunks. And I'm just going to put these chunks in into our casserole. You want to cut off that hard rind because I tell you that would it's not fun to hit that when you're eating. All right, and now we're going to take the rest of it and just pour that right on the top. And I'm going to spread that around just a little bit. All right. All right, and then I'm going to take another half cup of cheese and I'm going to put that on top. We don't need much, so I'm just going to spread a little bit like I say, about a half a cup. This recipe takes one cup of cheese total, so you can use more if you like or less. 
All right, I am going to bake this at 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until the cheese has browned a little bit and it's really bubbly and that ham is heated through. So I will be back with you when this is done. Okay, our scallop potato and ham casserole is done. So I'm going to let you uh, see what it looks like when I put it on the plate. Looks really good. You can see all those nice pieces of ham in there and the cheese that we put on top. Now this I had let stand for just about five minutes and there it is on the plate. Now this makes enough maybe for probably four people. If you need more than that this recipe can easily be doubled and you can make it like in a large 9 by 13 pan instead of this small pan that I used. But uh, there it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I will definitely be bringing you more videos in the future. And I will also list the ingredients for this casserole in the description, so you can try that for yourself if you'd like. And I hope you all have a great night, and I do thank you so much for watching. Stick around for that bonus footage. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Okay, so just to show you all a little bit about what I have been doing out here, I've actually put in just a little bit of mulch along my walkway here with my lights. And I got some nice flowers over here that I have just uh, set out. And I think I'll be happy with those. I needed something that worked well in a strong light. And um, according to the uh, label on these, it will. And up here, I have my geraniums. And we turn back around this way, and there's our camper trailer and our truck. And as you can see, we live on a dirt road out here in the country, kind of. The main road is about a half mile that way, and about another quarter of a mile beyond that, you'll find the Atlantic Ocean. There is a seagull. I don't know if you can see him or not, because I can't really see what you're seeing. But there they go. All right, and then when you go the other way, down that direction, um, about a, another half a mile or so is the Cape Fear River. So we're out here, you can see I don't really have a very good luck trying to go grass out here. We've just got too much sand. But anyway, I still like to make it nice and welcoming when people come in, especially my piano students. And they come up here on the walk. And there is my little seating area. Sometimes my parents sit out here and wait for their students' lessons while they're inside which is fine. They like to do that. And over here, there is a feral cat that comes and eats, and I like to give her something to eat and keep fresh water down there for her. Um, so that's where she goes. But anyway, that's what I have been doing. You can kind of see. Next major job I've got to do is those bushes right there need to be trimmed down a little bit. They're getting, they're starting, just starting to get kind of scruffy. So I'll be taking care of that soon. And I have some more work out here I'm going to do. I'm going to put in a border alongside of the, the mulch there. And I'm probably going to put out a little more mulch and um, make that look a little better. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. So I hope you all have a great day. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.